Lastly, we will completely install our fully adjustable tilt mount solar fan. This fan uses the same time-proven American design and manufactured system with the highest airflow in the industry. Let's get started. The first thing I'm do come over and mark a tip about nine foot. That finds the center. You run about here. Now I'm gonna go 24 inches down from the top to my center hole and mark my center line mark. Now that's the center line. Twenty-four inches down. Centered the screw up through the center of the hole. Take a marker like this, we simply mark it off. What you're going to want to do is make sure you hold on to the screw once your hole gets over here so you don't drop this down into the hole, you can break your drywall. So as you get close to the end, just hold this. Up about the middle portion of this roofing area, the roofing shingles are glued on with a tab. And so you basically want to take this bar and lift it up like this. And you'll have to remove these nails so that you can slide your flashing under there. We actually want to get underneath the tar paper. So we have to come under this portion right here. Okay? So that way we're going to be underneath the tar paper. I'm going to slide it under the uh, material, roofing material, but I'm going to keep it up off the roof deck as much as possible. Um, I've decided it's going to go under this area right here and this area right here so I can rest it here and help to slide it under just like this getting it underneath the roofing material here and here and then holding it up sliding it up underneath here like this and then setting it down once I get to the top that way we won't have any problem and uh, looks like we've got this Pretty well centered. Now what I want to do is I want to center it. The next step is to fasten it down the roof. The fasteners that you're going to use are included in the kit. A very high tech fastener. It has self-drilling tip with neoprene gaskets. So these tips will drill through the aluminum material and then the uh, gasket will seal on the roof um, and on the flashing material itself. Use a quarter inch driver with this. Then the next thing you want to do is to apply the sealant underneath these shingle tabs like this. to put one if it's you're breaking on the center of a shingle put a, a layer like this and then I want to see it go around the top of the neck 
like this. Next thing we have to do is to adjust the solar panel. So loosen the fasteners on the side. Slide it up to your desired angle. In this case, I'm going to put it all the way up. Tighten the fasteners on the side. Over here, take a look over here. What you're going to see is four wing nuts. These wing nuts give you the ability to loosen and adjust the angle of the solar panel. You actually have the ability to turn it. So this way over here is south, so I'm going to get the most perfect angle, which is south facing. At this, um, uh, this is about a 35 degree angle, which is about perfect for this application. So now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the fasteners so that they're not going to come loose over the next 25 or 30 years. I'm going to make sure that this fastener here is tight too. This is the sealant sealer to make sure that the wire guide is tight. Hi, I'm Dennis Crabb. I hope this installation demonstration of the solar-powered attic fan was helpful.